everybody! Welcome back to Friday Fun. I'm Beatrice and this is Shelby and we're from the Group Services Department at the Geneva Center. If you're like us and you've been spending a lot of time at home or in your apartment, you might be getting a little antsy. So today we have a couple of ideas for how to make some at-home fidget toys. Yeah, so we're gonna do kind of like a squeeze ball or a stress ball. We're gonna do like a weighted um, pouch. Sure, a weighted pouch. <laughs> um, kind of a marble run activity. And then we have a couple of other things up our sleeve too. Let's get started. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna get started here with that weighted pouch that we were talking about. We really like this activity because it's really, really simple and doesn't require many resources. It's a great fidget toy. Um, you can also pop it in the microwave when you're finished and then you get the added benefit of the warmth. Um, so really you'll just need a sock. Uh, if you do plan on putting it in the microwave, just make sure it's a sock with no synthetic mm -hmm. materials in it. So like straight cotton, um, just so it's not flammable. Um, yeah, so a sock, some rice, uh, a friend that helps you <laughs> pour the rice into the sock, which we will do right now. Mm. A funnel would also be good, but we don't have a funnel. <laughs> so you just fill it to kind of the desired um, feeling and weight. We we'll probably won't do too, too full. One more? Sure. Is that good? Oh yeah. Great. And then you just tie it off. You want to make sure it's really tight, not so none of the little rice escape. Um, and then even from this, it's a little bit small, a little bit dinky, but you can really, uh, it feels really good. You can hear the sound. It's a great fidget toy. Kind of keep your fingers busy. So the next activity that we're going to do is like a marble run around kind of thing. It's half sensory and half just a fidget toy. Um, so essentially what it is, is we're going to glue um, or just secure two pieces of fabric together. And then we're going to put some marbles inside. And then essentially you can like push the marbles through the fabric. It'll make more sense when we actually show you how to do it. Um, but all you need for this activity is some sort of fabric. We're using an old pillowcase, um, marbles or little balls, and then scissors and some sort of glue. So we're using hot glue gun, obviously, but if you don't have that, you could probably use Elmer's glue or any sort of like super sticky glue. We're going to start off by cutting the pillowcase down because it's a little big, um, but I'm going to cut it off camera because I can't handle the pressure of cutting it on camera. So, see you in a second. Okay. So now I've cut the pillow, um, and essentially what I'm gonna do is glue kind of a maze pattern on half of the pillowcase, put the marbles in, and then glue it shut. And then this will be the size of the pouch. So, let's try this out. Fair warning, I've never done this before, so it might not work out. <laughs> So there you have it. I've glued the outside, I've glued a little pattern on the inside and put two marbles on the inside. And now you can kind of fiddle around and try to get it through the maze. And it's a pouch, so you can carry it around, you can put it on your lap, you can hold it any way you want it. There you go. <laughs> Now we just have a couple of ideas of how to use things around the house as fidget toys. Um, so the first one, pretty standard. This one involves a little bit more effort than the other ones. Um, you can fill up a glove or a balloon with some flour and then it makes a nice kind of stress ball. Also makes a pretty cool sound and just something that you can fidget with. Um, the nice thing about a glove is that you actually have kind of more shapes to fidget with, which is fun, um, but a balloon works just as well. Uh, we've got bubble wrap just because it's so notoriously fun to pop yeah. <laughs> um, and kind of play with. Um, and then just some other kind of uh, crafty supplies here, I'd say. Um, we've got just a hair band, one of the kind of bouncy hair bands that are really fun to play with. Um, a clothespin, again, it's just kind of a good fidget toy, especially for the kids right now that are trying to do schoolwork from mm -hmm. home. Um, it becomes really boring to just sit in the same spot trying to get through your homework. Um, so it's nice to have something to kind of keep your hands busy. Uh, the last thing we have here is some exercise equipment. So this is a foam roller. Mm -hmm. um, what we like to do with this one is just put it at our feet and then you can roll your feet on it. It feels cool. Um, it's kind of some sensory input while you're trying to focus. This is a resistance band, really similar. Um, what we do for this one, we just tie it around the legs of the chair so that it's something to kind of bounce your feet on. Um, I'm someone that always kind of likes to be moving in some capacity, so mm -hmm. this is a good productive way to, to move my body while I have to be sitting. 
an exercise ball is another, or like a yoga ball mm -hmm. is another kind of good way to keep yourself moving around while still trying to get some stuff done or sit still. Um, but yeah, essentially just try to stay crafty, use things you have around your house, um, and kind of get your fingers busy. Thank you so much for tuning in today to our Fidget Friday. Hopefully you can use some of these activities at home.